Welcome to the 11th video on building a social network with Go. In this video, we'll be adding comments to the posts. Let's start by creating the necessary tables in the database. A comment is similar to a post, but it has a reference to the post in which it goes. I will also skip the spoilers and not save for work fields. Comments sorting and likes are the same. Now, let me insert a sample comment to play with later. I will also update the posts table to hold account of the comments in a post. That should be. Now, let's move to our back end service to add a method to create comments. Let me start by defining the comment struct. To create a comment, one just passes the ID of the post in which the comment goes, and the comment content itself. First, I'll check for authentication. Then, I will validate the content. I will now insert the comment in the database. This query can throw a foreign key violation error on the post ID, so I will check for it. I'll increment the post comments count on the database as well. Let me fill the comment struct before returning it. And, finally, commit the transaction. With that done, let's create an HTTP endpoint. The post ID comes from the URL path. The content comes from a JSON body.
After calling the function, let's handle each error with the corresponding HTTP status code. And, finally, respond back with the created comment. Let's test it now. And sure, it works. Let me fix the status code, and actually return a 201 created. It also handles the content and post ID correctly. Now, let's create a function to list comments from a post. These comments will be sorted in descending order and with backward pagination. I will build a dynamic SQL query based on the auth state and the pagination arguments. These comments will come with the user too. If the user is authenticated, I will query whether he liked the comment and whether he is the owner of it. That should be. Now, let's scan each row. Let me, correctly, set the avatar URL.
and finally return the array. Now, let's create the HTTP handler. The post ID comes from the URL path, and the pagination args comes from the query string. Now, let's call our function, handle the errors and respond back. Done. Let's test it. So far, so good. Let's check the pagination. Something seems off. There it is. I got before wrong. Let's try again. Now it works. Now, let's create a function to toggle likes on a comment. Let me start by checking auth. Now, let's check if the user already liked the comment. We will do it inside a transaction. In case the user already liked the comment, we delete the like and decrement the likes count. Otherwise, we insert a like and increment the likes count. I think I forgot to return the new likes count after the update. Better. Let's continue. This query can also throw a foreign key violation error, so I'll check it.
Remember to commit and invert the liked state at the end. That should be. Let's create the handler now. The comment ID comes from the URL path. Let's call our function, handle all the errors and respond back. Done. Now let's test it. Looks good. And that's it. Before finishing this video, let me go and update some functions to include the comments count on the posts. That is one. That's the second one. And that should be all of them. Let's test it quickly. Yep, looking good. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.